episode six, I believe. Enough about Eve. Oh. So Lily and Rufus got married. They ended up doing like a little cute wedding. They had a little bump. Um, they found out about their son. Um, so things are things are going things are going well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just sort of like looking into their relationship, getting a bit of screen time with them being married. I absolutely love the fact that they've got married. As you know, my favourite ship in the show, so I can't complain. But really, I just want to jump straight into this one, guys. So as usual, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, check out Patreon for early access, and let's jump into it. I love the fact they're just in the same room together and either wake up. Oh, it's so cute. I love Blair and Chuck. Blair and Chuck being together is the best. I actually didn't think I didn't think it would work out as well as it is. <laughs> when Chuck's the caring boyfriend out of everyone in this show. <laughs> It's just cute, isn't it? You gotta love it every time they're together like that. Please tell me this is a joke. Don't worry. I have an idea. Ooh, we're gonna help Carter. I like Carter. I don't know. I think he's an alright dude. Yes. Well, apart from what he did to the woman. Brie, of course, is horrible, isn't he? <laughs> but I like him. <laughs> I love how I can just ignore flaws <laughs> when I want to. <laughs> She was ready to deliver those lines. Did you see her in the back? Like, oh, it's my time. <laughs> you very long legs. Yeah, Blair, me. FYI, one insipid article does not mean people here like you. The fever will pass. Like Swiper. Really? Huh, then I wonder why Josh Ellis, who's this kind of important alumni liaison, told me to start working on my toast for the freshman dinner. The Blair Vanessa rivalry increasing. To be fair, I think Vanessa's a better rival for Blair than Jenny. I don't think Jenny was a very good rival, at least in that regard. Oh, Olivia's actually sticking around for a bit. What happens if their parents were dead? <laughs> Judgmental. <laughs> I know what she's trying to get at. She's so aggressive. I love how like childish like the figure when she's about Chuck when she's I'm not about she's still the beast. Ouch. Ooh. Vanessa's gonna be pissed. This oh, make an enemy a blame, mate. He's gonna get assassinated at some point in the show. Who's the one who told Dan to bring her? Irony certainly can't be cruel. <sighs> that is cruel. That is pretty. Oh, mate. <laughs> kind of feel bad for her. Well, I'll just tell Olivia how much this toast means to me, and then she'll step down. Yep, probably. Though, then again, she might not. Nice try, Blair. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, Blair's stirring that pot. <laughs> Oh, she's got in your head there. Now you're not gonna. If you just do it the honest way, Vanessa, just go and ask Olivia if you can give the toast and how much it means to you. Don't do it a snaky way. She's not going to, is she? Oh, why is she going this way round it? Just say you want to, to do the speech. No one does. No one. Uh, to be fair, it wouldn't be an entertaining show if it didn't. But fuck's sake. Blair wins because you actually listen to her. Freaking out about meeting your parents. 
Fortune is going to be honest for like two seconds there. Why does Olivia? <laughs> oh, <hi> Vanessa. <laughs> uh, I feel like any time I get like a, maybe like Vanessa a little bit, she goes ten steps back or thirty steps backwards. At least Jenny does not always like she's bearable at the moment. Now you're going to ruin his potential relationship. Kings. You just got wrecked. He bluffed. He fake bluffed you. Aces. You know, a picture really is worth a thousand words. <laughs> or, in this case, an election. Nate, thanks for stopping by. You can like it was going to be that easy. It's a good lesson though. Don't gamble, kids. <laughs> Unless Nate wants a trip to the crate to go in smokes. Wait. It's Figgy from Firefly. Hey. A <laughs> <laughs> little heart. Homemade strawberry rhubarb. Don't believe a fight at universities. Knowledge should not be for sale. Well, Don't argue it. Yes. Oh. Alright, they did the smart thing there. Didn't argue it. You, you know, that's someone who's going to have a strong opinion. Don't know about opinion. Oh, mate. Chuck's so fast. <laughs> Like no look okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I help you? No doubt. Well, I wanna see this, god damn it. Gabriella, this strawberry rhubarb jam is to die for. Thank you. It's the Oh nay! Fucking hell. How did she make this worse? How do you make it worse with every phone call? <laughs> How do you do that? Nah, nah, Vanessa. Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't stand her. Oh my god, I'm actually annoyed with Vanessa. Like the first couple. Oh, When she used chalk. <coughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Why is this? Uh, my little heart can't take these two. Bad time. I understand why this is the right place for me. Okay. Well, you just got screwed over. <sighs> kind of, kind of, kind of mildly feel bad for, but also like, screw you. Don't you just adore the National Arts Club? Oh, so age of innocence. 
Ah, bless such a bitch. <laughs> I love how I can just pass over all players bitchiness just because I love her ways. Vanessa does something wrong. I'm like, you fucking cow. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Like always. Please, you're embarrassing yourself even more than usual. When will you learn? <laughs> Please, such a horrible human. Why do I like her so much? I love her. She's iconic. Uh, she does it in such a likeable way, in the weirdest way. But it's so twisted, the logic I have with this show. It's like, I hate... Uh, I don't like uh, Vanessa. Oh, God damn. <laughs> that was painful to watch. Oh, the cringe. Oh, Calm is going to get her. <laughs> oh, Karma came back for Blair. Karma came back for Blair. Oh. Oh, Blair deserves this karma, I've got to be honest. Oh, it's so good, I love this show. It's so much drama. I heard you talking to your grandfather. Why would you leak a fake photo? Are you trying to destroy Chip's campaign? No. no. What, what are you doing? What do you mean? You're referring to the boo? You're calling an astrologer? This is what do you even have an astrologer? I guess ever since I became another shallow Hollywood celebrity. You know, the kind that you are so afraid your parents didn't approve of. What are you talking about? Vanessa told me that's why you disinvited me. Vanessa, I, I blew this dinner off because Vanessa told me that you were freaking out about me and my parents. What? I never said that. Vanessa, comments coming for everyone, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. The lips oh. I love karma. Oh, that mean you look. What makes you better than me? Do you really want to know? Yeah. You're both the same, as sad as it is. But Blair's just more likable. You know, <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> I have more in common with Marie Antoinette than with you. Granted, you may be popular at some step high in the baby school. No. 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 Vanessa, you bitch! Oh, oh! No. I was willing to do what was necessary. No! No! Stop it! Actually, Blair. Congratulations, you just did. Savage. Oh, I'm more hurt with Chuck though. Oh. oh no. Sorry, ladies. Les jeux sont faits. Thanks for playing. Oh, that was great. That was class. This is why I love Gossip Girl. It's just when Mr. Ellis asked Olivia to give the toast instead of me. Wait, you were the other girl? Wait a second. You were supposed to give the toast. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to surprise you with this nice toast about being here with your parents, and and then you disinvited me. Well, I did that because you lied to me. Why didn't you just tell me you wanted to give the toast? I mean, I would have given it to you. I know. I let Blair convince me if I asked, you'd say no. But when I called and asked why Dan didn't want me to meet his family, you said it's because they looked down on Hollywood people. Yeah, like... They probably do now. You know, you were you were pretty annoying. I'm so sorry. I substituted my awful family for his amazing one. I love. Rufus and Lily, and I wish they were my parents. Vanessa? The door! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I just want to 
<laughs> oh, the classic gossip girl walking. Mate, this episode's fucking banging. <laughs> oh. God, what's this banging speech going to be? Nice try, ladies. You came out swinging, but never stood a chance against a Hollywood heavyweight. Why do we do all this? You tell me. Hi, uh, I'm Olivia Burke. I'd, I'd say this was a bit of a banging episode. Adrian, the hidden location has got to end. It'll be fine this time, I promise, I hope. Hey, make it. Hi, I'm Jenny. It's nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, do you really know Leo? Um, just a joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Humphrey, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Dan already explained everything. Let's start toppings. We have whipped cream, strawberries, chocolate chips. And, uh, does anyone want coffee? To be fair, I actually don't mind this done in thingy shit. Like, I'm all out with it. Uh, welcome to Caramont. Yes, well, it wouldn't I love the fact these two are married. Olivia, you get the, uh, hmm. Vinny Barbarina. You know, Travolta has uh, a set of these. He got really upset when I accidentally cracked his Freddy Boom Boom Washington. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's eat. Oh, you weren't kidding, were you? No. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yes. No oh, this is how you do an apology. It was just a kiss. So it's not the kiss, it's the lie. Oh, you make me wait. I know how little respect. <sighs> and not you. I don't feel that way about you. That's a good point. Oh, I like Chuck's point there. Please don't tell me he's sleeping with someone. Who has he got in his... Oh, he's slept. He's... No? Yeah. Wait. Okay, no. I thought he was going to turn around to a gill being in there. I'm fine with this. Right, I'm fine with that. I thought he was going to turn around and there's going to be gill in there because he slept with someone out of frustration. I was going massive day able to afford like anything. Should I have a coffee with Vanessa? <laughs> when Fenny these become friends, maybe? I don't fucking know. You want it? Oh, they're both lost. Misery loves company. Well, for now at least. Yes, thank you. That was a banger of an episode. I enjoyed that one. My battery is dying, so I've got to keep this one short. But and judging if you watched the reaction, <laughs> that episode was a uh, fire. <laughs> there was some German, there was some tea being spilt this episode, and some cringe, and I love it. Bit of cringe, bit of tea. You know, get me in my chair, get me emotionally invested. I always love that. Gossip Girl does a good job. Like I say, I'm so surprised this hasn't been repetitive. Three seasons in, as you know, from my first season, I was always like, this, I've got worried that this show is going to be a bit repetitive. Three seasons in. Not not a single story, and I'm repetitive actually. Really, it's some actual really fun writing, and I'm really enjoying the series so far. Season three actually has been my favourite so far. I'm fucking loving season three. It's been an absolute banger. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Actually, well, if you like, subscribe if you didn't. Hope to see you next one. Peace.